Hi, this is Thomas, Marie's cozy language consultant, speaking to you from my cozy writing yurt. We wanted to leave you a surprise in the free learning treasure trove. Since I've worked as a professional magician, as well as a teacher of grammar, I thought I'd teach you a magic trick that involves words, spelling, math, and gratitude. To do it, you just need to have 21 cards. You don't even need to have an entire deck. First, I'll show you the trick, then I'll teach you how to do it. It's called, I am grateful. I'm gonna take these 21 cards and lay it out for you in three rows. Now, if we have three rows, 21 divided by three is what? Seven. So we have three rows of seven cards each. And there we go. Now, if you were here with me, I would ask you to choose a card mentally, just noting a card in the stack and uh, remembering it. Now, since you're not actually here, but you're here with me virtually, let's pretend that this uh, Ace of Hearts is your card. And I would ask, uh, so which row is your card in? And you would say, this row. You just point to it. Then I would gather up the cards again. And I would make three rows again. And then I would ask you again, which row do you see your card in? In this case, your card's over here, so you'd point again to this row. And I would gather up the cards a second time. Now this time, when I ask you which row your card is in, you would point to this row. So, gather up the cards, and then I would spell out a sentence. And the sentence is, I am grateful. I A M G R A T E F U L. And there is your card. And I call this trick I am grateful because it reminds us that even when circumstances may seem less than ideal, if we can hold on to our sense of gratitude and appreciation, we can find what we may be looking for. So I'm going to teach you how to do this trick. Now, normally, magicians don't reveal the secrets to their trick because if you knew the secret to the trick, it wouldn't be a trick anymore. It would lose its magic. So I'm not supposed to teach you this trick unless you're also a magician. So I need to turn all of you into magicians. Now, to do this, you need to take the magician's oath, which has three parts. The first part is not to reveal the secret of a trick. But there are two more parts. The second part is to not perform a trick unless you've practiced it first. Now think about why that might be the case. If you do a trick before you're ready to do it for somebody and you accidentally reveal the secret, well, you've basically ruined the magic of the trick uh, because you haven't practiced yet. So always practice first. And the third part of the magician's oath is to never repeat the same trick for the same person. Because the first time you do a trick, you'll be able to surprise them because they don't know what's coming. The second time, they might be more careful and watch and discover your secret. So if they ask you to do a trick again, say, let me show you a different trick and then learn another trick to share with somebody. So time for the magician's oath. You need a hand in the air 
a hand on your heart, you have a hand on your heart and a hand in your air, in your hair, in the air, on your heart, repeat after me. I, state your name, and I hope you actually did say your name and not state your name. So I, state your name, your real name, promise, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, to reveal a secret, perform without practicing, or do the same trick to the same audience. Wonderful. You're all magicians and you can learn the secret to this trick. So you start with 21 cards and you always lay the cards out in the same way. Always going from the same direction. So I'm going from here from my right to my left, which would be your left to your right. Starting from the top of the deck with the cards face down turning them face up as I go across. And then you ask someone in your audience to choose a card. This time, let's choose the Queen of Hearts as our card. So imagine your volunteer has chosen that card. Here's the second thing to remember. After they tell you which row your card is in, as you gather up your cards, you always gather up one set first. You put the chosen row on top of it in the middle, and you put the remaining cards on top of that. So their card, or their row with their card is in the center of the packet. Then you lay them out a second time. You can even tell them, you know, watch to see where your card appears this time. Then you ask them, they'll see, oh yeah, the Queen of Hearts is here. They don't tell you that it's the Queen of Hearts, they just tell you, oh yeah, it's in this row. So again, you gather up a packet, you gather up that packet second, placing it on top of it, place the third packet on top of that so it's all in the middle, and you lay the cards out one final time. And you'll ask your audience one final time, which row is your card in? They'll see, oh, now it's in the center row. So you gather up a packet, you gather up their chosen row, put it on top of it, you gather up the remaining cards, put that on top of that packet so it's in the middle. And now we get to spell out the sentence, I am grateful. I A M G R a T E F U L. There, their card will be. And if you do those steps correctly, the card will always be on the L of the I am grateful. So this is a trick that uses both cards as well as a combination of letters, words, and math to make some magic happen some magic that reminds us that when we're grateful, we can discover something we may be looking for. Thanks, and be safe.